Russian troops have fired on buses carrying civilians near the village of Borova in the Kharkiv region. Ten people were killed and three dozen were injured. The exact number of victims and details of the tragedy cannot be determined by law enforcement officers now. Borova has been occupied since April the 13th. Meanwhile, in the settlements of Kharkiv region liberated from the Russian invasion, people are recovering from experiences. Maria Malevska shows what the Russian world left behind in Husarivska near Balakia. We are near Balaklia. Husarivka is another liberated village in the Kharkiv region. It is around three to four kilometers from the positions of the Russian army. There are broken houses, damaged fences. This house on the outskirts has been burned to the ground. I came and saw a closed hatch from which thick smoke comes and it smelled awful. The owner found three burnt bodies in his cellar, two adults and a child. They were pelted with tires and set on fire. Two skulls were exactly adults, and the third was small, like a child. Ivan's house was occupied by the Russians when it was still intact. They stole what was in the garage. They took a blender, a welding equipment. For what? The occupiers ate supplies from the cellars, complained about their small army boots, and were surprised that there was gas in the village. These are not real people. They are terribly zombified. They say, why don't you come to us? It's so good in Russia. And where do you have a bath here? I say, what kind of bath? We have a bathroom and toilets in our houses for a long time. They say, we just came to protect you from Banderas. The soldiers were from Dagestan and Rostov. Two burned Russian armoured personnel carriers are near Nadia's house and a little further on the road in a ditch, a destroyed car. There is a record player, children's shoes, from people trying to flee the war. There was a family in the car, husband, wife and three-year-old child. They didn't allow to take away the bodies of the dead for ten days. A lone sheep is in one of the abandoned backyards. Where the residents are is unknown. The village is empty now. They were ordered to shoot at civilians before they were actively attacked by Ukrainian troops. We live here. They shot at our children and grandchildren. People are taking to the streets after a month in basements. They say that the Russians didn't allow them to go outside. When they began to be driven out, they began to hate, behave like beasts. They started shooting at people. One guy was driving, they jumped out of the fence and shot him. Today, there is a lot of broken Russian army equipment in the village and its surroundings. Among them are around 20 tanks. The military shows rare exhibits. This is a Thor anti-aircraft missile system with eight missiles. Its range is around 35 kilometers. The price of such system starts from $25 million. It is in service with Russia and its satellites. It's used in Syria and the CIS countries. An outdated Soviet anti-aircraft weapon system, Shilka, stands nearby. Today, instead of such machines, the Ukraine forces are using a small javelin. I don't know why they brought it here. Our artillery quickly eliminated it. Soldiers fled through the gardens. Well, you see, one foot is here, the other is there. Husarivka is a tactically important settlement. Fierce battles for the village lasted 20 days. Two battalion tactical groups of Russians fought against a company of Ukrainian troops. The locals say that two Ural trucks of infantry corpses were taken out of here. It is difficult to count the number of civilian casualties. Six people went missing on this street during a month, like the husband of Mrs. Lyubov. He went with the other boys to the farm to feed the cattle and did not return. Currently, the village has no mobile communications, electricity or gas. Husarivka is part of the Balaklia region, which is now occupied, and the local mayor fled to Russia. People who survived the occupation fear that the Russian army is still close to their homes. We are afraid. Everyone is afraid. Maria Malevska, Alexander Brizhna, Vik Na Program, STB, United News.